To make sure this season's project house is stable and strong, we chose open web trusses for our foundation, second floor, and a portion of the roof. These trusses from American Truss Systems provide structural integrity as well as the flexibility that many of today's home designs require. The purpose of a truss is to spread the weight from the roof or a floor system out to the exterior walls of the house. We don't want a lot of load-bearing walls cutting up the design of our floor plan. We want some big open spaces. So by going with trusses, we can spread that weight out to the exterior walls. We can put walls inside the house anywhere that we choose according to our floor plan. They don't have to be there to bear weight. Now trusses come in a lot of different shapes. This is actually a roof truss and you can see where it'll come up one side and down the other. Also above us, you can see some floor trusses for the second floor of our house. Now these are long and straight, but one thing both types of trusses have in common is the interiors will always be made up of triangles. You see a little one down here, a bigger one, and then even a bigger one. You go up to the floor trusses the same way. This is to spread the weight of the load out towards those exterior walls. Every truss in this house, whether foundation, second floor or roof is part of an engineered system where each truss is designed to carry a specific weight load. Al Safuentes is the current president of the Truss Manufacturers Association of Texas. The use of trusses in residential construction eases the job for the crew in many ways. One way is that we take away a lot of the thinking process for the framer himself. All the uh, designs and calculations are required are done in-house in our engineering process and when we bring it out on the job site it's a finished product just basically ready to place on on the roof or on the floor whatever the instance. Once the first floor is framed it's time to install the second floor trusses. These trusses which were made with wood from Temple Inland Forest products are raised up in groups then placed according to the layout plan. A layout plan tells the crew exactly where and at what spacing each truss needs to be positioned. Because these trusses do not depend on any partitions or interior supports, the spaces beneath them can be as wide open as the homeowner wishes. Nowadays, the clear spans are getting longer and longer because the use of uh, better materials, and Southern Yellow Pine is one of them allows us that flexibility and also because southern yellow pine is, is such a dense softwood really helps in the holding value of the steel gusset plates which are essential in assembling our trusses. To support the roof of our project house we're using a combination of roof trusses and rafters. All of the rafters and trusses in our project house have been treated with a fire retardant. We want as much escape time as possible in case the house ever catches on fire, plus give the fire department as much time as possible to get in and save the house. Now the company is called Chemical Specialties and they put on a product called D-Blaze. And we've got a little example we're about to light up here. This is a typical lumber that you find in a house. And this is the treated lumber that has D-Blaze on it. We've put in some coals in both houses, plus a little model rocket engine. We're going to put some lighter fluid on the coals, then fire up the engines once I get out of the way, and look at the burn and compare how the lumber that's treated and untreated burns side by side. Don't ever try this at home, and we made sure that we had the fire department standing by just in case. Well, it's obvious when you look at our two example homes here, which one you'd rather live in. This is ordinary lumber, and this is the lumber that's been treated. It's really just smoldering, while this one is still in flames and is about to burn down. If you get your house treated with a product like D-Blaze, it gives you about 30 additional minutes, hopefully, to get out of the house, call the fire department, and get them over there to save your family, your home, and your possessions. A little bit of money can go a long way in saving your family's life. There are other benefits to building with trusses as well. If the homeowner ever wishes to remodel, the possibilities are virtually limitless since the home doesn't require load-bearing walls. And since we use open web trusses for the foundation, rearranging the plumbing or fixing leaks becomes a relatively simple and inexpensive procedure. Trusses give the homeowner the peace of mind knowing that he has a properly designed product over his head or under his feet. And because we control a lot of that in the manufacturing process, not only does he have a superior product, but he's got a properly engineered product where a lot of the guesswork and labor material has been taken out in the manufacturing process. 
If you'd like more information about building your home with trusses constructed from Southern Pine Lumber, visit the Southern Pine Council's website at southernpine.com.